Hey guys, my name is Celiac and welcome back to the episode of our beautiful canal town here in City Skylines. But today, I want to implement uh, quite a few little things. Recently, we kind of uh, implemented the oil industry. Uh, last episode, we got it set up where it's now producing the specialized products, which is the petroleum and the plastics. And now that it is producing the petroleum and plastics, we're now technically producing every type of unique product from every industry. Uh, within canal town which means all the unique factories can now be implemented now i want to slowly add a few in i want to take a look at some of the brand new malls and some of the brand new stadiums uh that kind of came out with some of these uh, content creator packs and really kind of bring uh, more life to canal town right now so as always guys if you are enjoying the series and want to see more then make sure you smash that like button down below if you're new around here make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out now Last episode, as well as completing this, we also added in some of the uh, industrial zoned kind of items, uh, like how we've got the oil industry zoned industry. Now, the only thing I didn't do was take away the kind of um, the what do you call it, the resource underneath it. Now, this allows us to not produce the same type of good. So, as you can see, as I get rid of it, let me up that brush size a little bit as well. Uh, it it kind of allows me not to produce the same type of good. Uh, I don't really need this to kind of go all the way around here. I only need it in certain areas, which is kind of important to us. Uh, and it allows them to create the products that are needed uh, for the generic industry. So we currently have a little bit of zoned kind of uh, oil industries around here, which is going to be perfect. I want to also change this in... I mean, we can't really do the forest industry. It's more the mining industry over here. We added in some of that, which we actually did it. I think, I think to be honest with you guys, it was the oil industry is the only one that I never added it to. Uh, and which will kind of really then help out what's needed for our industries. Because these guys were complaining a little bit. We kind of are solving some of the issues, but we still got lots of things we need to do. So... Let's take a look then at some of the unique factories that I'm yet to get in. Unique factories, which is pretty much all of them. It, it, it's crazy how much need oil. <laughs> it really is. All of these right now needed oil. I tried to get a few in, but I kind of got stumped at the, the first hurdle because we, we need some type of oil product, whether that's plastic or uh, petroleum. So like the toy factory, we've got the printing press. Let's actually start with one that is dedicated for the actual oil industry right now. Oh, damn, what happened there, boys? Make that bigger. So, the shipyard, no. Which one is it? Is it this one here, the petroleum refinery plant? It is, but that also requires a little bit of metal. Is there not one that is just solely petroleum and plastics? I don't think there is one that it kind of exists. No, I think the, 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 the refinery plant here is the closest you're going to get. And it is quite a large building. It is quite a large building right now. So, we've got to think of, figure out where... You know what? I could actually squeeze it in right here. And that works perfect. But we kind of have to sacrifice this little bit of road. Now, the reason I want to throw it in here is because it's flat. Perfect for us right now. That is absolutely perfect. Bam. The factory's now in. And it just fits within the theme of it as well, which is obvious because, you know, this is the oil industry. But goes really well with these uh, kind of, um, what are they called? These are the Napfa Cracker uh, factory, uh, plants. So it does require petroleum, plastics, and it does require metals. Now, we have the plastics over here. We have the petroleum over here. But we also require some metals being stored locally as well. So let's also add in a few more warehouses and where would be the best position for them? I mean, it's a bit of a dead space around here, but I don't want to create too much chaos on these roads. Uh, I can go for some smaller ones. I can go for a big boy right now. Uh, right, you know what? I think we can now officially get rid of this power line here. Because it all connects over and it's all perfectly fine. And we can utilize the uh, the kind of the situation of the road around us just here. Now, I wonder if there's any ability for us to kind of extend upon this. Damn, I don't want this too big right now. Come back down, fool. Come back down. So, I could come off the road for the uh, this area here. Do you know what? We'll do that. We'll go straight up, straight across. Kind of end all this area up. But it will allow me then to place in a warehouse. And I can go for quite a large warehouse. Now, the reason I'm looking for a big warehouse here is, one, it can store more goods. But because we've got two of these dotted around and consistent amount being produced by the factories nearby, we can have a metals one. 
completely filled to the brim with all the guts. So that would mean that our ore industry will kind of need to produce a little bit more right now to kind of start storing goods over here. But they've got the petroleum, got the plastics, just waiting for the metals to be delivered, and then we can start producing real petroleum fuel. <laughs> right, okay. Let's take a look at all of this. Why is this now all of a sudden going funky? How dare you? <clears throat> How dare you? So, we've got in that then, the uh, petroleum refinery plant. What should we kind of go for next then? Uh, we've got the soft paper, we've got then the car factory, we've got the food factory, we have the sneaker factory, modular house. Um, let's see. Printing press needs uh, plastics. Over here with the clothing factory, we could kind of stick to like industrial based stuff. Now the soft paper factory requires crops weirdly enough uh paper petroleum and plastics so crops and paper i feel like this do you know what? this could pretty much go anywhere in reality it could actually stay within the oil industry and the reason i'll keep it in the oil industry is because it has two products within the one industry the other stuff is from separate industries so where's it gone where's it gone right now the this here so petroleum and, and plastics oil industry paper wood industry crops farm industry so how big is this building itself oh my goodness me this is a huge building okay i kind of don't have the room but at the same time we have this area over here we can also work with there's nothing stopping us with kind of building around here as well having a little bit of an extension area which works out pretty well. I could do an underpass of some sorts to kind of get over this, this area from uh, the uh, oil industry. But it's 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 the imports and exports, isn't it? I mean, I don't have to because I can bring the goods elsewhere. But it's just a case of where. I didn't realize how big that building was going to be right now. That's actually quite a big building, isn't it? All right, you know what? We'll, we'll save that building for now. <clears throat> Unless we can find somewhere for it. Now, is this it? This is not it. Where's it gone? Does it keep moving? See, now it doesn't feel as big when you place it to like for an area over here. Doesn't seem that big, but over here it just seems huge for some reason. So, you know what? We will get it in. <clears throat> we will get it in as I slowly choke on my own words. And I will utilize this area over here. So, we'll go for a four lane road. We'll go for a four-lane road right now. I don't know how I've managed to kind of make mess this up. Because it keeps minimizing every time I click on it. Um, four-lane road. I want to go for the skinnier variation of the four-lane road. And we'll go with the... Hmm. What do we go with? What do we go with? Or do I go even bulkier? Now, not too, not too bulky. Not too bulky. We'll go for this four lane road here. And we'll kind of come directly off this. <coughs> Just like that. Now, how big is the building again? <coughs> okay, it's not too bad. I feel like doing something like this where it kind of ends like that. So if I was to do that. And maybe if... Because I can push it back a little bit. So if I come off this here... Actually, let me scrap. Do you know what? Scrap the idea with that. There's got to be a way here in which I can utilize an underpassage. Underpassage? Underpa underpass. There we go. Underpass. So if I go 10 by 10 across, and then 10 by 10 back up to zero, and then this here will obviously come out to there. Okay. Come out to there. We'll implement the beautiful beautiful a factory just like this this will be a nice kind of a additional kind of pull and then that four lane road we'll bring it up to here and then we'll go to there 
And then what type of a bend can I apply? A five or a four? I'm thinking, I'm feeling a five. Five by five. So it kind of turns and it feels like it's a part of this whole area. And what we'll do is we'll bring it out by another 10. We'll stick to a 5 by 5 And then we'll bring it down and then we'll, we'll try and do something that eventually connects up elsewhere. Because there's definitely room for additional stuff within this vicinity. Also, vehicles are already using these, uh, this underpass, so to some degree it's kind of handy for them. I, I don't know where they go. Oh, they could be just like shortcut down this way, couldn't it? I don't know. Who knows at this point? Who knows? So let me just give this area a little bit of water, because we're also going to have to put, build some storage down here now. And it's all different type of storage as well. We've got to bring some... Um, so is it paper we're going to bring over? Is it paper or, or timber? I know I've got to bring crops. It's, it's paper, isn't it? What, what is the factory? Yeah, it's paper. It is paper. Oh, no, they've already delivered the goods. That's what they were coming over here for, delivering the goods. Oh, at times, guys, I amaze myself with how dumb I actually am. <laughs> so, if I run a road up the, to the pretty much the side of the building, and then run this... We'll bring it, you know, we'll bring it down by about 25. Okay, and then we'll go for a, a 10 by 10 little swoop. And then straight in. Standardized connections. Now, we need a couple of warehouses. I don't think I'm going to go too big. But then again, the size of too big is actually perfect. That there. Oh, it's a shame that is going to clip. Right. Instead of a 10 by 10. I'm doing a 5x5 five five to match the other bends that we've got going on in this area. It allows me to drop in another warehouse. <coughs> but I also need to build something to do with crops as well. So this warehouse will be saved for something else. I'm not sure at the moment what it will be. We'll implement a little road cutting in just here. We'll do a little bit of a 7 three by three bringing that up to there and i'll use this little section here solely for uh now the great thing about these barns for farming is you don't need or I'll do a silo it doesn't need to be in the uh the, the farming industry to apply the crops into it we need the paper in this one which is just there so that then it doesn't have power does it no that then will store everything we need locally. The other stuff is coming from over here uh, for this building. Now we'll pass this straight over and in. So we're up and running there. We have this obviously this warehouse here that's really storing nothing, but that'll you know start storing something when we get the product coming in or whatever warehouse we put in additionally. Now did this get its metals in return? It did. Is this storing metals? It's got one percent. Six tons. It did have 14 tons just a moment ago. Now, is there additional building that I can utilize in this area? I feel like the connection now needs to go here, doesn't it? So, if I go back to that four-lane road. So, we're doing 5 by 5s is what we're doing. So, if I go by a 25. 5 by 5. And then in. So, we've got a nice little kind of industrial loop on the go. Now, we want to go quite big. With this next building. I mean, obvious one. Car factory. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord. That is big. That is big. That is big. Question is, which way do I pull it? I feel like it's got to go here. But I've also now got to delete these roads again. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. <laughs> so if I just come off about there with this road. Now, where does that stick out? That's an 8. So, and this is here is a, a 14. So, a 9, 
five by five. 17. So we do a 12 for a five by five. Straight in and down. Oh, this is gonna be glorious. I feel like this is gonna be quite a busy area. Now, what does this need differently? It's got the plastics. It's got metal which is storing locally over here, so I don't think that'll be too bad. It needs glass, which we'll get from over here. I might have another um, storage for for metals. I don't know. Now, does it make sense to come off there? Probably not. Probably not. But I could throw in another set of warehouses. So I can go for another large here. And I can also squeeze a large in just over here. Right, so I throw them both in. Which was store. Uh, we've got glass there. I could do. See, metals just got delivered because it's been stored locally, but I can do animal products. Animal products just in. Right. Now, what small industries could I also then kind of maybe squeeze in? Which is all related to kind of manufacturing, modular house, uh, glass, metals, plastics wood but how big is this this is also a large building what about printing press no nah. oh electronic oh electronics factory what's different for this no it has everything it needs as well but that's also quite a longish building hmm now it doesn't need to be a long building because what i could also do is run that to there but there's going to be a section which I, if I came out here so if that is there a 17 is there a 3 by 3 well there's a 3 by 4 let me delete that and then replace it back in so if I went by a 3 by 3 bend and then that's straight down to there there's room here to squeeze the building in like this. Which is quite unique in many uh, respects. So that needs plastics, which is stored again nearby over here. Uh, glass, which is stored just here. And then metals, which is stored over there, isn't it? I feel like we should then switch this one to metals. Because the amount of metals that now need to kind of travel over here, we might as well store them a little bit more locally. Oh, damn, where am I going? Where am I going, boys? Now, looking at this, I feel like we should push this further down now. So, if I deleted this. And say I came out of the road right at the side. So, 11. So, going back to our 3x3. Three three, which does mean, in reality, I can move this slightly down. How's that? No, a bit more back the opposite way. Only a tad. There we go. We've got a little bit more control of the area. So this is definitely interesting. Definitely interesting, boys. And then bring you up. Bring you right down the side. And I don't know if there's reasons to kind of... connect additionally I wonder if I can uh, move this just to there I wonder if there's a, an ability to kind of go shabam like that but this here up up in so the road kind of goes all the way around and connects I, do, I mean, I, I reckon this is going to be pushing it as well if I try to do something like this. Kind of works. I like these little roads that all kind of run around the edges of the building. It does make it feel more of a industrialized area. In that regards. You know what I mean?
like that. That's on a complete angle, isn't it? Alright, deleting that to then force it back in again. But I feel like that now needs to pump that way. And then down. There we go, that's better. Oh no, maybe one more. And pump down. Like that. Uh, push that over. Okay, that's as good as you're going to get it. And then for some reason that feels now off. You can't win no matter what you do. You just got to suck it up. You just got to suck it up. But anyway. Do I want additional road connections like this? I think I do. That becomes a little bit of a T-junction. Because I, I do like the industrial vibe of this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We'll go with it. Just got to sort this little bump out. Now, we've done this before. Because I'm coming from the bottom, or trying to extend the bottom, we kind of go from the bottom first. Smooth in the top. And you don't even know, boys. I'm like a silent assassin. Like a silent assassin. So what's great is that they can they can also use these areas down here to send trains in whatever directions they need to kind of go in. <coughs> so that kind of works out. Hopefully traffic's not too bad. I can see it a bit. Okay, okay, we've got traffic lights here that we need to turn off. That should keep us flowing. No issues. And we should be okay. Technically, we should now be okay. Or so he says. So that's quite a few uh, unique factors right now, which is going <clears> to <throat> require our oil industry and, and all of our other industries in, in, re in reality uh, to, to produce a little bit more. Because we need the goods going elsewhere at this moment in time. But it does mean they start to make a lot more money as well. So in terms of money for our industries, it now makes up to 40% of our whole income. That's a lot. The forest industry doesn't really do that much. Now, I'm only going to assume that's because I don't have that many buildings that produce the goods. Uh, that's a warehouse yard. This is all storage. You've got one, two, three, four. And then and then two, well, two of each of the other smaller variations. Okay, there's more over here as well. But reality, no. We don't have enough that produces the goods. So let's get this all set up then. So these are the larger buildings that we kind of need more of. We do kind of need more of. I'm trying to think of the best positioning for them. It might be ideal to kind of bulk up the hill a bit more, mightn't it? So if I go up by 20... Up by a 20, up by a 20. <coughs> now, the way the terraform is going in this area, it's going to be a little bit OTT, a little bit all over the place. If I bring you down to here to connect so I can run this further down. I'm going to go up to there. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to end it like that for now. And we'll see what we can kind of do. So the, the large variations of building. We'll first squeeze a few around here. So we'll go there. And then we'll go there. So this is now out of the uh, industrial area, isn't it? Let's get that in real quick. 
we'll go there and then there and then the other variation of building on this kind of smaller section so this is quite a lot I ain't gonna lie this is now really starting to up the production numbers now we'll have to do a little bit of terraforming so we'll start with the old trusty first the smoothening and just kind of see how far we get with this which is in reality not going to be that far uh, this is all staggered now i don't mind the staggering but you've got to do it right like bulking this out to create like a, a plateau for the area to work with creating these little plateaus that we can work with right now which is very important it's what gives it the realism that we're uh, working to these levels So by doing that, you kind of stagger all of this. And then we can kind of, like I said before, we can kind of smooth them from the top. Up that brush size. Oh, that's way too big. Smooth them from the top. Kind of add a bit of depth to this. Before you then come into the bottom of it. Because then it adds that little bit of realism. Right, definitely looks a lot better. <clears throat> we can work. Oh, there's a, there's a random bit. Oh my goodness me, these guys don't even have water. There we go. So let's add what we need to this then. We'll quickly kind of scan around it. Doesn't really need to be too much. It should have all the power, which is all connected and they should be then good to go so this whole forest industry right now which does need to then start producing a lot more goods which it does it, it will start you know rather than selling the output it will start taking to the finger uh should hopefully then start turning a little bit more of a profit that's what we're hoping for so we'll see what happens on that so how busy is this area now looking and all becoming i think it's okay uh can we fast forward <laughs> Not too much. God, that you, you're too speedy, game. Stop, stop going so fast. But all of these right now should get um, all those products coming in, and they'll, they should start producing more than selling more. So, six G's, boys. It's the only one that's losing money. Even the fishing industry, as small as it is, produces money, and this is as big as the fishing industry is right now. There's not really much going on. Like, seriously. And they're screaming out for uh, for more goods. Uh, low amount of fish available. Yeah, I know. We, we kind of need to bulk up the fishing industry a bit more. We really do. Like, seriously really do right now. What is the fish coverage like these days? So, we've got the anchovies. Uh, we've got the salmon, which is good. We've got tuna up here as well, which is interesting. Do we have tuna over here? Not really. Tuna out in the deep. Okay, a bit of tuna there. Uh, and then shellfish we're all out to sea. So we could fish in these kind of unique areas. Um, should we try? I mean, is this still producing power, by the way? Yes. I reckon we should now raise the entry of it a little bit more. We've definitely raised it here, which will do some changes. I'm trying to. See, I'm still raising it. Right, we'll go to there and see what that does. So it was it was in like what is the four hundreds? The low, the low four hundreds is what was that? Not saying it's going to produce a lot more, but it's going to definitely going to slow down the flow going out by raising it ever so slightly. 
So we'll see what the outcome of that's going to be very shortly. Right, more time has passed by. We are starting to see a lot more trains entering this area as well. And they're using this a bit more. Uh, metals are filling up. How are these warehouses now doing? Oh, that's kind of... That's kind of oh, this is pretty decent. Now, we do have two metal fa uh, warehouses nearby over here in general. So we are going to have to start like producing more metal. Uh, we do great with this. There's always going to be room to manufacture more of the metal. Let's uh, get this set up a bit more too. So, where it... Which is the one that produces the metals then? Is it you? Your glass, your metal. Oh, it's the big boy buildings. Okay. Right, we'll go down here with you. Squeeze another one in just there. Couple more squeezed in there. Look at the chunks it takes out of this. Now again, it's all about digging into it. To make it worth our while. And then just smoothen where we need to. You ain't gonna smoothen everywhere. And then smoothen from the top before you come down to the bottom. So I'm I'm loving these like overhanged on the cliff edges. It's quite a cool little road that is, to be honest with you. Right, give it the water. <clears throat> so that will produce a little bit more metal. Which is going to be really, really handy for us. Because you have quite a large acquisition. Not enough output on the on the products. But yeah, that, sh that shall be a bit interesting. Right. Not saying that it's already going to change it. No. Of course it's not. It's still 400. I don't feel like that's even raised as much as you would kind of want it. So if I kind of add a bit more to the height of it. Let me kind of get the right angle here. See, that's definitely raised up right now. That's definitely raised up quite a bit. To the point where it's created its own little barrier. So the water level has to go above this. I mean, it's technically still flowing through anyway. I think even this might be uh, a bit too high for the visual side of it. I think visually it doesn't look right. So I think maybe we should stick to this. Just raising these ones. Oh, that's pretty high. That's pretty high. But you can also raise these. To kind of match it. And then just smoothing out the terrain and whatnot. But yeah, raising those is going to be a big help. Again, it stops the amount. It raises the, the level that it needs to then flow over. That's hopefully making this produce. Now this is into the 500s. So, you know, it's on the way to the 600s. If you keep go goes up, I don't want it to produce maximum. I just want to kind of play around with the levels as much as I can. So we'll raise a little bit more. Right there we go. I'm starting to see a nice little shine coming through. So you see a lot less water flow going down right now. Right, leave it like that. Leave it like that. You, could, I could spend all day playing around with that. To be honest with you, I could spend all day playing around with it. But uh, yeah, this little unique factory park right now is looking pretty good. Uh, has the forest industry kind of... There we go. The forest industry is now making a profit. Which is... We've gone from 40% to now 46%. So the increased output right now has been a big help. So we'll keep making more and more products. I feel like we need to add a few more junctions or a few more roads kind of connecting in this area. 
So I reckon we'll utilize the connection tool. And would it be silly to kind of go like this? What type of connection would it kind of want? Right, we'll go with this. It's not the best, but we'll go with it. And then what we'll do is... Oh, what happened there? We'll go to here. And then we'll utilize that connection tool again. And then do one like that. <clears throat> Just to create more roads that flow from one end to the other. That we don't have to kind of keep tripping over ourselves with, with this junction here. Creates these little kind of mini bypasses in that kind of sense. All right, smoothing all this off. Push that back a bit more. It's a bit better because it is quite a large hill that we're kind of utilizing everything on this. So, more connections the better. More connections the better right now. And I think this should also. So, there's a, there's a 10 by 10 bend in this. Or not, just go straight up. Whoa, what happened there? That truly is quite funky. What's going on with this here? This is really weird. What connection tool it? All right, gotta add that in again, giving us more alternative connections. And over time, it will just free up the, the junction section here, which it already has done. You can already see the kind of full effect of it are actually now happening. So that's great. It should allow more even flow running around here. We'll be very happy. Very happy. By right, this now into the low 600s. So that's jumped up an extra 200 megawatts. And the more I raise this, the more power the dam is going to produce. So we kind of understand it. We, we, this is not our first rodeo, guys. This is not our first rodeo right now. So from 46%, it's now 45%. So it is fluctuating. I think the major drop is because the fishing industry is kind of now not making much money. Uh, there we go, nearly 47%. So, it's happening. It's definitely pointing in the right, right direction. If the fishing industry starts making a little bit more cash, that will be... I reckon we could almost get our kind of income to borderline 50% of our industries. Here's what I found. Get out of here, sorry. Siri's listening to me right now. Uh, which will be quite fun. We'll take a look at expanding the fishing industry in the next episode. But we'll end it for here anyway. I feel like we've been very, very productive. We got to the point where we're producing and, and just kind of making more money, which secures the future of Canal Town because the other expansions that I want to do to kind of, you know, build us all up is all heavily money related and kind of weekly expense uh, related. Especially with the uh, the huge public transport kind of. How much is our public transport? We're spending... I mean, look how much we're spending us on trains. I would have thought ships would have been the one, but trains is the most expensive? Holy cow, that's a lot of money, isn't it? But yeah, you get the gist of it. A um, lot more expansions to come. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash the like button down below. Until next time, i see you soon. So, goodbye.